Today we're taking a look at our first super ship in quite some time actually. Uh, we're taking a look at the Humphreys here. This is the super gearing, so the tier 11 version of the American destroyer line. We can see already that the guns are looking a little interesting, almost like dual turreted um, Sherman guns is at least the hope here. Uh, that would be really, really insane. We got a decent amount of torpedoes here, um, but this ship I thought was going to be insane as soon as I saw these turrets, but the DPM is just all right. It's very similar to gearing DPM, and we don't even get sap. So we're stuck with HE and AP here, and standard HE. We only get 6% fire chance here. If you know that uh, gearing has been in the game a while and that 5% base fire chance is not all that great these days. Considering there are ships like the Daring, the French Destroyers, um, a few others that get more than 10% fire chance or around 10% fire chance. It's not all that amazing. Um, I should note, I haven't played it yet, but the shell velocity seems to be somewhere in between. Uh, gearing and Sherman. So we don't quite have the shell velocity of Sherman, otherwise I would be looking to take a little extra range here. We'll see how it plays. Also, we get some pretty standard looking gearing torps here. Uh, same damage, same range, same speed. Um, yeah, it's, it's looking a lot just like a very, very minorly buffed gearing, which is not too amazing, if we're honest. Gearing's been a little power crept uh, these days. It's not the DD it used to be. At least we do have quite a bit more hit points um, that will come in handy. Our speed is just all right, I would say. Notice our rudder shift at five seconds. Not amazing here as far as maneuverability. We'll see how that impacts our game here. Um, 5.9 detect is pretty decent. I'm sure you're wondering at this point, what is the gimmick of this ship then? Well, we get a burst fire. That is our gimmick here. So if we want to, we can swap over to this burst fire. We'll get three salvos. And the gimmick is 50% more main battery damage. So not only do you get that massive burst of damage in really, really quickly, uh, you get 50% extra damage to your shell hits. So that could actually help us finish off a lot of DDs, potentially win us some engagements. Although we do have to keep in mind the reload time there. So we're losing out on absolute DPM. Um, when we do run this burst fire. So we're gonna wanna use it as we're going dark or as we're going behind an island or the enemy DD or ship that we're shooting at is about to be in a position that we can no longer shoot them if they're going undetected or they're going behind an island as well. Something we could use um, then, but typically we don't wanna just pop it right away and then be a sitting duck for 30 seconds while we're reloading. Smoke generator, pretty standard here for the American ships. We have an engine boost and an alternate option for defensive fire. Um, but the build I'm running here that we'll see if it works out is a very, very gun focused one. So looking at the guns here, two and a half second reload, even though I am pretty much fully going for a gun build here. Even on the commander, I am taking most of the gun upgrades here, even fearless brawler. That one I'm not sure if I'm gonna make full use out of, um, but we're definitely going concealment, survivability expert, last stand, pretty standard um, destroyer upgrades. So this is looking much more like a vanilla tier 11 ship than the uh, amazing tier 12 uh, super ships that we have seen in the past, but we'll see. Maybe it'll feel a lot stronger than I'm thinking when I get into a game. So loading up into our first game here, I can already tell you uh, the turret angle here, looking forward and back, actually looks pretty good here. So we'll be able to get most of our guns off pretty easily here, which is a really nice thing for a lot of these ships that uh, have okay DPM. Um, but a lot of times there's these weird issues with turret angles, but we don't actually have to deal with that here, which is quite nice. Um, to start off with, we're going to be flanking pretty hard here against a couple Yamagiris here. Uh, they do outspot us. So we got to be a little bit careful of that. Also a lot of radar in this one. Um, so I'm expecting to play a pretty vanilla game here. Um, but yeah, we'll try and flank, see what we can get up to here. We don't want to push too aggressively into radar. Um, that is something that can get us killed quite quickly. Notice we don't have a heal, right? There's no heal on this one. So I'll have to be a little bit careful. Uh, Neptune as well, okay. We do want like to get some early spots like this for our team. But uh, it'll be interesting to see what uh, what the super ship here feels like. If it feels like a shoot super ship at all, actually. Um, 
Hopefully we're not going to get hit by any radars here. Dump our torps in there as well. <laughs> okay, looks like the Alaska is definitely radaring at the moment. And we have a gearing to deal with over here. Fair enough. So, that is good news that we know that the radar is being used, but... Unfortunately, our Yamagiri is going to take some damage in return. Thought for sure, actually, that Alaska would be... Moving forward, but he's not. Fair enough. Let us, uh, let's start. Uh, interestingly got detected there. The gearing was actually outside our gun range. Leads me to believe there's actually a second DP here. But let's check on our DPM, see what we can do. We get a torp hit on, looks like, the Neptune. That's pretty good. There's a Dalarna here. Okay. DPM-wise, I think we're gonna be similar. He does get that heal though, you know, which is pretty useful. Don't want to sit in here too long. Odds are there's torps on the way. This Neptune probably goes down to our uh, GK here. Not too worried about that. So, not a lot of damage to start with, but we are a more vanilla style ship, I would say. We're not. We're not as uh, niche focused on gun builds or something like that. So, gearing has smoked up. Starting to farm a little bit, I guess. Hopefully they can get the Neptune here. Very close. It's tempting to open up here. I don't really want to quite yet. Dump our torps towards the smoke. Maybe he's silly enough to just sit in there. Torpedoes to starboard. Very good. Our victory is in sight. Critical engine damage. All right, so there was our burst used up. Um, solved, Venice sir. gets a small hit into us. Yeah, so the burst did all right there, honestly. Um, got some good damage in. Smoke screen set. And then we're back to normal farming. Getting blind fired by the, by the, uh, Venice there kind of sucks, but what are you going to do? See, that's, that's a situation where bursting is going to be really nice. Take a small little engagement like that. And then duck behind cover, get into your smoke, that kind of thing is going to be um, really, really, really useful, I think. The shell velocity really doesn't seem to be that amazing, though. Better than gearing, but that's not saying much. So I would probably still say I would take range mod in this one. As much as that kind of sucks, I still don't think I would want to. It means we're a little more limited. Some of these super ship games can be a little bit... Uh, a little passive, if you know what I mean. All right, we've found ourselves a Montana. Let's see if we can't farm him down real good. Got a switch on us, sure. Got ourselves a fire already. That's nice. I don't really want to smoke up quite yet. I know I'm the one spotting this Monty. But maybe now is the time. Especially since he shot. Notice our uh, turret angles here as we're kind of in a decent hiding away position. He's repped, which is really good for us. Um, pretty good. Pretty good angles. Now we wait. Our smokes last a long time, but you see without spotting, it's not the most useful thing in the world.
No, they're nowhere close. Interesting. Somebody shot us from A. Looks like that's the battleship. Wow. Pretty big hit in. Fair enough. That is how it goes. All right, we're gonna wait until somebody else is spotting Nishikov before we uh, really start to farm him. The Petro will likely be spotting, but I do need to be in a position where I'm not blocking his vision. That's kind of the goal here. Our victory is in sight. Unfortunately, it looks like our torps are gonna be missing here. We will get ready to smoke, no point in doing it quite yet. He's not looking at us. There we go. Getting ourselves some fires. He's turning to look. Start our smoke up a little bit. DPM DPM is just alright, honestly. It's it's funny that I feel like Sherman's a bit more super than than the Humphreys so far. Uh, but maybe that's just because Sherman is so ridiculous with its sap. Uh, but we're doing good damage. We're already up to 150, 160. So maybe I shouldn't be too hard on this ship. Better than I think, maybe. Try and hit that uh, superstructure. Those Yamagiri torps are a thing. We probably don't want to just be sitting and eating those for free. There we go, another fire. Two fires on 193 hits. We've only used HE. To be fair, a lot of my hits have actually been on places that are already on fire. So it's not like that ridiculous to be um, this low on fires, but still, something to think about. Try and use some armor piercing here. Get some full pens in. Do it a little bit more damage. My caliber feels pretty good. Actually going to use widespread here so I get better angles without uh, showing as much of my ship. He's probably gonna blind fire us. So that's where I want to be as uh, skinny as possible here. The angles feel pretty good, honestly. The uh, torp angle, the torp angles, the gun angles, more specifically, the torp angles are pretty normal. But if you want to get more angle on your torps like that notice how you can send and it is the farthest right one that uh got him right so you can go like that and get a much nicer angle behind you something to consider there so now we've got probably a venice coming through here which is a little spooky so let's see what we can do here maybe we need to kill the dds off Unlikely they get to see. Our victory is in sight. So realistically, we gotta live, kill their DDs. I think is gonna be the play. All out of consumables. So that I guess is a reason to go after something like uh, Superintendent. Certainly. Twenty seconds. I do want to get some torps off on this Venice, so um, I'm gonna stick around over here a little bit more. Which way is he going? Turning this way. Send their torps there. And then I think I'm going to go try and uh, meet up with Arnapolis. 
Or get a little closer to him to support. Might run into uh, a Yamagiri here in the back lines as well. Let's keep that in mind as an option. Turn back the other way, unfortunately. Oh, he's getting cross torped to death. You are the last hope. All right. Well, looks like we win as long as I live. So, is this going to be a solo warrior first impressions? What do you think, guys? <laughs> Engine boost deactivated. Oh, man. What a game, huh? Hmm, I don't know how close it is, is the thing. I guess we'll see. Confederate helps a ton. An absolute ton. I think I've got it. I guess it depends how fast they tick once they cap C what it'll come down to. Did I just give my position away? What a dick. That is so toxic, actually. Don't be like that guy. All right, looks like we did it. Looks like we did it. <laughs> so, there you go, solo warrior, guys. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, it's not on my main account, so it won't actually uh, add on to the awards there, but I'll take it. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. All right, don't be this guy. Haka or Haka or Bose? Oh, I don't even know how to pronounce his name. That is some unsporting behavior right there. <laughs> oh, whatever. I'm in a good mood at least. Um, so there's the Humphreys. I guess that is quite a bit of damage. Uh, so maybe the DPM is better than I thought it was. We'll see. I'll probably play the ship more as time goes on, but uh, for now, that is that is the Humphreys. Oh, before I go, though, I should mention that, uh, well, you guys should probably expect this by now. It is going to be an auction, and then you won't actually be able to get this ship the normal way for a couple months after that auction. Um, but we have come to expect that, at least. So thanks for watching this video, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, good luck out there if you do end up getting this ship. Seems to be an all right one, although I might be a little biased based on how my first game went in it. Uh, <laughs> just a little bit. Um, anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and have a great rest of your day.